It's Saturday Night Football, part one of our doubleheader. We are live to you from Los Scandalous, Crazy Donia, and an excellent matchup between the Cracksome Skull Jugulars and the Los Scandalous Volts. Cracksome Skull Jugulars, despite being this year's defending champions from last year's Mayhem Bowl, they have not been on a good run so far. They are currently 0-2. Meanwhile, the Los Scandalous Volts, now owned by the Electric Hedgehog Pokemon himself, Sonichu, not on a bad run for a first-time owner. The team is currently entering this contest 2-0. Let's go ahead and jump into this game right away. And just so everybody knows, the opening Imp Toss will be brought to you by the IMP, Immediate Murder Professionals. But when you want a living to join your ass in hell. We're live at the Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena in Los Scandalous Crazy Donia. We got 13 rocks and 12 crack hazards today. There's also a massive lightning storm. Mostly generated by Sonichu himself. He definitely wants his team to be winning this one. So, take a look at the dirty tricks. Crack some skull has flame on and murder ball. And then we have Sonic Blast in bombs away by the, by the vaults. I'm going to go ahead and toss the imp right now. And the imp landed ass side up. The Los Scandalous Volts have won the toss. And we will determine in a bit if they have decided to uh, receive or defer to the second half. Here are the uh, pregame speeches from our team captains for today. And the Los Scandalous Volts will defer to the second half. That means the Cracks and Skull Jugulars will receive the opening kickoff. We're going to go ahead and kick things up and going. Cracks and Skull to receive. May Spritzer. Burn Returner makes it. Oh! Got tripped up by that rock there and gets tackled down at their own 38. And that's where they'll start the proceedings. First and 10. 647 left in the first. Hands it over to the running back. And get stopped. Oh! Probably a tip of the PP length shy of the first down line. It is second and three inches. Clever Gorantz. Sending it over. And where the hell was that going? That was going nowhere. Third down and three inches to go. Clever Gorantz. Oh, what happened? We had a sticky ball dirty trick and get sacked on the play for a loss of two. Sinville Brosev credited with the first sack of the game. Yeah, his brain was definitely scrambled after that one. Fourth and three, what will they do here? They're going to go ahead and send out the punting unit. A three and out drive. Not the way Crack from School wanted. They'll send out the punter to be returned by Blonus Blur. Past the 40 and gets taken down just one yard shy of the 45. That's where they'll start the proceedings on their own 44 yard line. It is first and 10. The teams are now lined up and they're gonna do a running play to the running back. Definitely past the yellow line this time. Move the chains, we got another fresh set of down. First and 10, ball is now on the opposing 46. All lines up. Busting head splurt. Ooh, not a lot of health on him. Ooh, gets smacked to the ground. Taking a quarterback sack and a loss of 10 yards. So that 10 yard gain they got on the previous play has been completely wiped out. It's second down, and you need to get something going right now. And we got a quarterback sack attack. Ow! That did not work out. So that is going to be a 15-yard penalty for the unnecessary manslaughter on the Cracks and Skull Jugulars. So they will get them. So they will move up to second and five, but they will lose Chase Animal, number four. So it will be second down, five yards to go. Ball on the opposing 41-yard line. Easton Stick, looking for a receiver. Gets nowhere with it. Loss of 11 yards. 
Falcon Crown. That's his second sack of the ball game. This guy has been on a tear. Despite the cracks and skull jugulars not winning the last two, that defenseman is letting them know what the business is all about. Beach and Sticks going to try again, look for a receiver. This time he had a well-protected O-line. Finds the receiver and makes it all the way to the very beginning of the red zone. First and ten. Austin Recker, number 30, credited with that awesome play. And number two, Beast and Stick is going to have to head to the sidelines. He is injured for the time being. Fresh set of downs, 20 yards to go for the touchdown. First and ten. Four minutes left to go in the first quarter. And they're going to go ahead and head it to Austin Recker, the running back. And that will be a gain of 13 yards. It is now first and goal. Buck shot. Yikes. Is going to have to head to the sidelines. They're not uh, keeping a lot of uh, good quarterbacks on board. They've already lost one. they got four remaining. They're going to try and head it over to the running back. And a gain of five. Watch out. Remember, we got a lightning storm going. And we have another injured quarterback. Oh, boy. This is not looking good for Los Scandalous. Cracks some skull getting extremely aggressive on defense. Sends it over to Austin Rackham. Oh, no gain on the play. It is third and two. Oh, I have a. They're going to send out a new quarterback, and that one just farted. Going to try another running play. This time, we'll get it through. Touchdown, Los Angeles Volts. No penalties on the play this time. Looks like they're going to save their bribe money for later. Austin Recker to be credited with the first touchdown of the game. Uh, his phone is definitely going to be blowing up after that comment. Anyway... We're going to go ahead and try for the extra point attempt. And it is good. Los Scandalous Volts is going up to 7-0. So they had a good scoring drive. They're going to send it over to the Cracks and Skull Jugulars. Cracks and Skull Jugulars hoping to get something going. They went through and out the last time. May Spritzer receives the ball and will attempt to return it. And is told where he could just F right off at the directly on the 35 yard line. That's where they'll start the proceedings. First and 10. 236 left in the opening quarter. Clever Gorentz looking for a receiver. Sends it over. Oh, the receiver could not keep hold of the ball. Looks like the spike got to his hands very well. Kind of puts a little pain on there. That's what's great about the MFL. We have spike balls. You gotta make sure you catch the ball between the spikes. Duh. Oh, lots of lightning striking the area. Clever Gortz. This time he's gonna take the ball himself. Past the yellow line. And directly on midfield. It is first and ten. Clever Gortz. Looking to do the proceedings himself. First to ten. Looking for a receiver, sends it over to the running back. Thanks to that underhand toss, and that'll be a gain of nine yards. Second down, one yard to go. Clever Gorens is going to have to head to the sidelines. He is injured. And it is second and one. James Roberson runs with the ball and gets a good gain of about seven yards. They'll get a fresh set of downs. First and 10 ball on the opposing 36. They are definitely in field goal range. Names Roberson trying to get a little further. And they'll have to send out the measurement sticks. But it looks like he is just under a yard shy. It is second down under a yard to go. DJ Hardbeat, quarterback, sends it over to running back. Carcass Hyde. And that will make it past the yellow line. Ding the bell. It's a first down. Fresh fresh set of downs. Move the chains. Ball will be taken on the opposing 22-yard line. They are two yards away from the end zone. 22 away from the end zone. DJ Hardbeat looking for a receiver. Murder ball! 
And oh no, we got someone dead. Crack, crack some skull jugulars. We'll get a touchdown and we'll pick up a dead body. Harmon Bones Jr. will be credited with a touchdown there. And where Visca Revolt, number 10 for the Cracks and Skull Jugglers, is injured. Number 44, Zezer Smite, out of the game. By the way, thanks to the uh, efforts of uh, last time I did this, we had our bingo winner, so the jackpot has been reset. They set up for the extra point. It is good. And just like that, we got a brand new ball game. We are leveled at the sevens. With 33 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Blown is blur to return the ball. Oh, right over the gap. And we'll make it to the 38-yard line. First and 10. That's what's really unique about Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena. There's tons of pits and cracks everywhere. This place is well known for having earthquakes. Austin Wrecker, the running back. Oh, gets a huge gain on that play. They're now on the opposing 39-yard line. First and 10. Busted head splurt. Going to have to head back to the sidelines. Not a lot of healthy quarterbacks going. It looks like they're going to have to rely on their run game. That will do it for the first quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, our first quarter sponsor is Visit Mississippi. Please just fucking don't. We are now going to begin the second quarter. You can see the remaining rosters on there. Well, Scandalous Volts only with four quarterbacks, and not a lot of them are healthy and good to play, but they got to play them anyways. They gain five yards on that running play. It is second down, five yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line opposing. Keisha to stick, looking for a receiver. Finds one in Austin Wrecker. And, oh, they are going into the abyss. File smack number 44 is injured once again. This time for going into that crack. And so will Austin Wrecker, the running back. He is injured for going into that crack. Very unique thing about the field is, even if you're still in bounds, you can still go out of bounds. Beast and Stick, quarterback, look for a receiver. Oh, he got a bombs away, and I think we may have actually killed one. Yes, he got number 26, Shaquille Griffin of the Cracks and Skull Jugulars, dead and gone. Nice play of the dirty ball trick. It is second and 10. Ball on the 15. Beast and Stick, look for a receiver, and oh! Is he going to be able to get... Oh, we got a touchdown and multiple players falling into the abyss. Number 32, 41, and 91 it all fell into the abyss. They are injured. And so is number 22 for the Los Scandalous Volts. Uh, we are going to check for review to see if that touchdown was good. We just looked back at the officials. The touchdown is good. Los Scandalous Volts is up to 13, and now they're, about, they're just an extra point away from making it a seven-point game. The point is good. Los Scandalous Volts up to 14. Crack some skull jugulars currently on 7 with 6.15 left to go in the second quarter. They will kick off to May Splitzer. Right over the crack gap right there. And gets taken down at their own 37-yard line. That's where they'll start the proceedings first and 10. Clever Gortz to receive the ball. Finding receiver. Finds one in Harmon Bones Jr. And it's taken down just before the crack. It is a first down. Clever Gortz is going to have to go to the sidelines. He is injured for the time being. 542 left in the second quarter. The clock is running. It is first to 10. Ball on the opposing 33-yard line. Oh, we got an Enfuego dirty trick, and oh, lots of players are on fire. That did not really go too much places. Only a gain of one yard on that play. Second and nine, ball on the opposing 32. DJ Hardbeat sending it over to receiver who then dropped the ball. 
Yeah, that is kind of frustrating as well. Third down, nine yards to go. DJ Heartbeat picks up the ball, looking for a receiver. Oh, no! The receiver fell into the crack before he could make the play, and that's going to be an incomplete pass. Number 10 is going to be out for the time being. It is fourth and nine. What are they going to do here? They're going to send out the punting unit? I don't remember their kicker being injured. Anyway. Oh, wow. That has got to be the lamest punt of all time. And the ball will be declared down at their at the 15-yard line. Number 80, Mames O. Schlomessi has fallen into that pit over there and is going to be out for the time being. Lots of players falling into the abyss. Oh, we got a sticky ball, dirty trick, busting head splurt. Oh, he's going to have to run with the ball. And still got nothing. Not only that, he loses five yards for the team. They're now at their own 11-yard line. First, second down, 15 yards to go. Four twenty-six left in the second quarter. Clock is running. It's over to the running back. And that's going to be a loss of three yards. They're backed up even further. Now in the safety danger zone. Third and 18. Ball on their own seven-yard line. They need to get something going fast. Busted head splurt. Oh, finally finds a receiver. And they make it past the yellow line. Still going past midfield. And it's taken down at the opposing 47-yard line. No penalty. Oh, yes, there is. I take that back. There is a bullshit penalty on the play. Dude, stop looking at people's crotches, you little pervert. And, yeah. Los Scandalous Volts ain't happy with that uh, bullshit penalty. They're going to come out there and attack the ref. And the ref is gone. Mo money on the game. Oh, he's not playing around. He's not playing around. So that will be a 15-yard penalty or half to his goal. They're now on their own two-yard line. Bustin' head splurt. Needs to find a receiver quick. Finds one in Austin Recker, the running back, and gets nowhere with that. Fourth and 12. Looks like they're going to have to bring out the punting unit. Eric Crook, WBR1, is injured. He wore the number 87. Or where's the number 87, I meant to say. It is fourth down, 12 to go. They have sent out the punting unit. And that's a nice put. Mace Britzer to return. Might be able to avoid the defense. I take that back. He gets stopped on the opposing 41-yard line. It is first and 10. He'll send it over to Mames Roberson. And ouch! Gets an uppercut directly on the chin there. And is stopped for a gain of two yards on the opposing 38-yard line. It is second down, eight yards to go. Clever Goritz looking for a receiver. Might find one. Oh, no! Did not watch where he was going and fell right into the crack before he could get to the ball. That's the second time he's done it today. Cracks some skull jugulars. Clearly did not study the field they were going to be playing on this week. What is going on here? It's third down, eight yards to go. Ball on the opposing 38. Clever Gorentz. May find a receiver. Does find it. And the running back. That's enough for a first down. They move the chains and will start a fresh set of downs on the opposing 27-yard line. It is first and 10. Ames Robertson. Oh, he's going to play quarterback. And eats a sack for playing quarterback. That's a loss of 12 yards. Ball is now on the opposing 38-yard line. Second down, 22 yards to go. Number 11, Harmon Boats Jr. is injured for the time being. Oh, wow. We got a lightning attack. Oh, we got a fumble on the play. Who's going to pick it up? It is once again the, uh, oh, wow, we got a fumble out is here. This time, Los Angeles Volts is going to pick that one up. You're playing off against the Los Angeles Volts, and it looks like they got some uh, Sonic Chew's help there. 
Scary Thrilly, oh, gets tackled on the seven-yard line. They're going to start their new set of downs in the red zone. Not only that, they're just seven yards away. It's already first and goal for the Los Scandalous Volts. A minute 20 left in the second. Snaps the ball, hands it over to the running back. Oh, might still break it. Not quite. They don't. If they gained anything, it's probably just centimeters. It is second down in goal. Ball is on the opposing seven-yard line. Seven yards away from another six points. Snaps the ball. Quarterback looking for a receiver. Finds one in Syke Williams and gets a TD. Another six points on for the Los Angeles Volts. Syke Williams credited with his first reception and touchdown of the game. 6.8 yards. They are now going to attempt a one-point conversion. Snap, place, kick. It is good. Los Scandalous Volts now up by two possessions. 21 to 7. Crack some skull jugulars. Yeesh. Not looking very good. They're going to have to kick off to the little skinless Volts to start the second half. So they want this drive to end in something. They do not want to go into the locker rooms that far behind. They'll start the proceedings on their own 30 yard line, first and 10. James Roberson. Oh, manages to make it past the line of scrimmage. Can he make it past the first down line? No, he will not. He has stopped just a little over a yard short. Hit his second and one ball on the own 39. Crack some skull jugulars. will stop the clock with the timeout. They have 28 seconds left in the first half. They have two timeouts remaining. Hurry up offense has now been activated. Clever Gorentz looks to find a receiver. May find one, Mames Roberson. Oh, nice play. 15 seconds left in the first half. And it looks like, oh, oh, we may have a penalty on the play. Oh, yep. Mo Money's really going to try his luck. I'm not sure about that. Number 16, Clever Gorenz. He's going to have to head to the sidelines for the time being. It is second and 11 thanks to that penalty, and they're going to be backed up another 15 yards or possibly half the distance to the goal line. Eddie Money Spaghetti will be the new referee for this game. That's not much of a discount. I've seen how much you charge for each bribe. Anyways, it is second down, 26 yards to go after that penalty ball on their own 14. Quarterback looks for a receiver, finds one in the Robeson. With three seconds left, can they stop the clock in time? No, they cannot. That will officially do it for halftime. Cracks up Skull Jugulars are definitely going to need to pull together some more bribe money. They are down by 14 points. It's 21 to 7. Halftime stats brought to you by Visiting Indiana. Yes, we have corn too. It's got the juice. Indiana. We're pretty much not known for a lot else other than the Colts, Pacers, and the 500. Hey, children aren't raised on air alone. All right, it is now time to start the uh, second half of the game. Los Scandalous Volts to receive. Blownest Blur is going to jump over and get stopped at the 46 yard line. 646 left of the third quarter. It is like first and 10. Ball on their own 46. Looking. Head splurt. Looking for a receiver. And they're going to rule that an incomplete pass. It is second and 10. Very contra. Uh oh, quarterback sack attack, and there went another one. Ouch! He is all over the place. Any cannibals out there? Looks like you just got yourself some free food. There goes number 10, busting head splurt.
is now first and ten because of that uh, 15 yard unnecessary manslaughter penalty. Quarterback looking for a receiver. Forgot to catch the ball, buddy. Yep, that's going to be an incomplete pass. Second and ten. Ball on the opposing 39 yard line. Sending it over to the running back. Easy first down. Ball is now on the opposing 27 yard line. First and ten. 6.22 left in the third. Clock is running. Los Angeles Volts. He should stick. Receives the pass. Or tries to pass. To receiver. That once again forgot to catch the ball. He should stick. going to have to head to the sidelines. He is injured. It is once again second and ten. Buck shot. Looking to fire his shot. And oh, we're gonna have to review to see if that was a catch. But apparently he may have kept both his feet in bounds and managed to control the ball just before going into the abyss. They're calling it a catch. It's a first down. Ball is now on the opposing 14. Los scandalous volts now in the red zone. Rustin attacks him, trying to get as close as they can. Buckshot is <laughs> injured. Oh, they, and they only got three quarterbacks remaining. This is getting far more than ridiculous. Second and four, ball on the eight. And that will be a touchdown. There is a bullshit penalty. Unfortunately, that touchdown credit is going to be taken away. But, I, but you keep making the dumbass penalties. Well, looks like they're getting real pissed. They're going to take off, the, take out the ref. We're going to get a new one. 15-yard penalty to be assessed. Bias Bill Peacock coming into play. Second and 29. Ball on the 33. Los Scandalous Volt's going to try this again. Tangalute looking for a receiver. Oh, we got a Sonic Boom. Oh, and gets stopped right there. Right at the 20-yard line. Third down, 16 yards to go. Five minutes left in the third quarter. Snaps the ball to Tangalute. Think a loot, looking for a receiver. Might find one. Yes! Gets it to snap. Touchdown, Los Scandalous Volts. They now move into a 20-point lead. Now by three possessions. Crack some skull jugulars. Just not getting it together tonight. See what the Los Scandalous Volts will try to do. They will attempt a field goal for one extra point. Snap, place, kick through the uprights. It's all routine, ladies and gentlemen. They are now up by 21 points. It is 28 to 7 in favor of the Los Scandalous Volts. They will now kick off. May Spritzer attempting to return and will not get much further than the 31 yard line. First and 10, that's where they'll start the proceeding. Quarterback receives the snap, sends it over to the running back, and that's going to be a loss of five yards on the play. Ball's now on to 26. Second and 15. Clever Gorentz. And they have to head to the sidelines. He is injured. Second and 15. Ball snapped. DJ Heartbeat. Looking for a receiver. But instead, underhands it to the running back. They gained five yards, so they're back to where they started. Third and ten. Ball on their own 31-yard line. Or 32. DJ Hardbeat sends it over to the running back. Gets nowhere. Three and out. Fourth down, four yards to go. 
Sending out the punting unit. Shogun Crook. Nice punt there. Lonis Blur jumps over that gap and gets taken down at their own 42 yard line. It is going to be first and 10. Los Scandalous Volts already three possessions in the lead. Can they go up even further? They'll try it. Austin Recca makes it past. Oh, made it past the yellow line, but gets wrestled back behind it. It'll be second down, one yard to go. Ball on the opposing 49-yard line. Austin Recca just gets enough for that uh, first down. Two twenty-six left in the third quarter. Eastern Stick looking for a receiver. Finds one in Austin Wrecker and gets a huge gain. First down and 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22. Just two yards away from the red zone. That's the ball. Eastern Stick. We'll hand it over to Austin Reckham, the running back, and will gain four yards on that play. Second down, six to go. They're now in the red zone. Bishan Stick's going to head to the sidelines. He is injured for the time being. Buckshot. Looking for a receiver. Oh, come on. They were so close to... Just could not keep his hands on that ball. That's going to be incomplete. Third and six. Buck shot. Sends it over to receiver. And gets swatted down. Number 44 final snack. Credited with that swat there. Fourth down. Six yards to go. See what they'll do here. They're going to go for a three-point attempt. Kick is up. And they will add another three points on the board. Los Scandalous Volts now up by 24. It is 31 to 7 in their favor. Los Scandalous Volts will now kick off. May Spritzer will attempt to return. Pass to 30. 35 almost got tripped up by the rock and is taken down. They'll start the proceedings on their own 38-yard line. It is first and 10. Names Roberson. Six attempts. And will no. Wow. Ish. Could have gone better. They will be backed up four yards. They're now on their own 34. Second down. Clever Gordes. Looking for a receiver. Watch that gap. And that got swatted down. Number 98, Sinville Brosev, credited with that SWAT. 33 seconds on the clock for the third quarter. Clock is still. It is third down, 14 yards to go. Clever Gorentz. Looking for a receiver. Finds one in names. Roberson. Ooh, and gets uppercutted at the 44-yard line. Fourth down, four yards to go. Clever Gorentz is injured. Are they going to bring out the punting unit? They will. Five seconds to go. Shogun Crook. A noise put there. The honest blur. And is told where to plant his ass at the 30-yard line. That is going to be it for quarter three. It is 31-7 in favor of Sonich's team. Third quarter sponsor is by the New England Patriots. Remember to flake gate? We now start the fourth quarter. Austin Wrecker. Oh my goodness. A nice 14 yard gain of the play there on their own 44 yard line. It is once again first and 10. Fresh set of downs. 642 left in the final quarter of the game. Most scandalous Volts commanding this game this entire time. Austin Wrecker gets slapped down at the at their opposing 48. It is second down, two yards to go. Staying up the lineup.
Ball snapped. It's another running play. Austin Rector. Now it's clear what they're trying to do. They're trying to run down the clock and get this game over with. It is first down. Ball is on the opposing 26-yard line. They're trying to run down as much clock as they can. He should stick. Might find a receiver. Oh, it was a bombs away, but this time it will be fruitless. No defenders were even near that ball. That's unfortunate. We should stick. Sends it over to Eric Crook. Eric Crook will gain eight yards on that play. It is third down, two yards to go. Well, Scandalous both looking to run down the clock. We should stick. Actually looking for a receiver. Finds one in Austin Rackham. And oh, gets in a first down. They need to get him off the field quickly. And so does number two. He is injured. Four fifty-three left in the fourth quarter. Buckshot. Oh, gets sacked on the play. Loss of nine yards. Ouch. Jihad Gord credited with a fifth tackle, first sack of the game. Ball is on the opposing 21-yard line, so they are just outside of the red zone now. That's the ball. Buckshot goes into Rustin, attacks in, and gets nowhere. They actually back up a couple of yards. They're now on the opposing 23. Third down, 20 yards to go. See what they'll do here. Buckshot. Finds the receiver. Oh, overshot his pass there. And that just got nowhere. Rustin attacks in. Number 22 is injured for going into that abyss. Fourth and 20. What will they do here? They're going to go for three. Kick. Oh, no. It's a sticky ball. Dirty trick. The kick attempt was blocked. Oh. Oh, that's just dirty. You did them dirty. Cracks some skull jugulars getting extremely desperate. They got less than four minutes to go, and they are down bad. They'll find the midfield and a fresh set of downs. First and ten. Ball on their own 49. They're sending out the hurry-up offense. Clever Gorentz. Looking for another receiver and finds it in Mames Roberson. And that's another first down. Mames Roberson. Finally getting some positive yardage on that play. Clever Gorentz injured for the time being. They're sending out their players. Clever Gorentz. Oh, he's not got a lot of health left. Finds it in Rames Roberson. They're now first and goal on the three. He is worse for wear. And they'll finally get a touchdown to get some more points on the scoreboard. They are now up to 13. James Roberson credited with the touchdown there. They will attempt a one-point extra point attempt. Kick is up, and it's good. They're now up to 14 points. The gap has been shortened down to 17 points. Are they going to kick off? Looks like they will kick off. They're going to rely on their defense to get that ball back. Blow this blur to return. Well, Scandalous Volts now on a mission to get rid of all that clock. They have 2.45 left in, in the final quarter. Ball snap. Beast and stick. Looking for a receiver. Oh, gets sacked on the play there. Falcon Frown will be credited with his third sack of the ball game. Let me tell you, this guy is really killing the game right here. 
Unfortunately, he's just not on a good winning team. Snap this ball to Beach and Stick. Beach and Stick gets Russell to the ground. It's another quarterback sack. They're now on their own 11 yard line, third and 35. He should stick, sends it over to Austin Wrecker, and gets about 15 yards gain on it. Fourth down, 20 yards to go. What will they do here? Two minute warning's already been activated. They'll send out the punting unit. Slide Dong, punter. And we'll send it over to Mace Britzer. And get stopped at the 33 yard line. That's where they'll start the proceedings. First and 10. Minute 47 left. Got some skull jugulars. Needs to hurry. Oh no, we got a. Oh, we got some fumbles on the play, and we got, they're just going to keep fumbling until they get the ball back, and flat fist harness. Going to jump up, and that is going to be a touchdown for the little scandalous Volts. Once again, Sonichu working his magic there. Another lightning storm dirty trick. Number 25, fist harness credited with that defensive touchdown. Scary thrillery. He is injured for the time being. He, he is wearing the number 99 with 122 left in the fourth. They will now kick an extra point attempt. Ball is snapped. It's up and it's good. Los Scandalous Volts back up to a 24 point lead. It is 38-14 in their favor. Crack some skull jugulars. Could not survive that dirty trick. And they had to lose the ball. This looks like it is over for them. They do have all three timeouts. But there's only a minute 11 seconds left on that clock. Clever Garnts. Looking for... Oh! Oof. Sticky ball, dirty trick, and now he is dead and gone. That one really sliced his throat wide open. Oh, man, and some of the fans in the first first row got a little bit of that blood. Oh, and they're loving it. Less than a minute to go. It is second to 13, ball on the 30. DJ Hartbeat tries to look for a receiver, finds one in Reigns Roberson, and they will get a fresh set of downs. Ball is now on the opposing 42. Oh, wait a minute, we got a, a bull... Bullshit penalty. You know, it's kind of actually hard to feel it when you are down by a shit ton of points this far to the game. Like, there's less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter. Why don't you give us a break, fucking ref? And that's exactly what the Cracks and Skull Jugulars is going to send a message about. Don Dirty Money Dingleberry going to come into the game. 15-yard penalty has been assessed. And after that penalty, it is third, second and 38. Ball on the opposing five-yard line. Nipper Sawtooth, quarterback, finds it in, rev in revolt. And now it is 39. They will call their first time out of the game. I don't know why they're trying to... I don't know why they're acting desperate. They're way too far behind. There's not enough time on that clock. Sending out to hurry up offense. Nipper Sawtooth gets sacked on the play. Just forget about it. Assassin Slamuels Jr. Credited with his first sack of the game. That's also his first tackle of the game. And they're now sending out the defense. Timeout called by the Cracks and Skull Jugulars. They really want to keep this drive alive. 29 seconds to go. Yeah, just forget it. Nipper Sawtooth trying to find a receiver. Gets it one in Mames Roberson. And it's stopped. Cold. 
cracks the Los Scandalous Volts. He's just going to set the ball down, run down the clock, go from 20 seconds to zero, and remain undefeated. Sets the ball. Sends it over to Austin Recker. And gets down to the 10 yard line. They will call their final time out of the game. All they got to do is make one more running play, and the game's pretty much over. They're going to send out a field goal unit, attempting for three points. Kick is up. And it is good. They will add another three points on the scoreboard, and that will officially do it. The Los Scandalous Volts remain undefeated. They rise to 3-0. Defending Mayhem Bowl champions, crack some skull jugulars. What the hell is going on? They're on an 0-3 start. I got to tell you, Los Scandalous Volts, they are getting all their crap together. They got a new owner. New management, they pretty much got a brand new team, and it is paying off. Beast and Stick to be awarded the MVP. This has been an amazing game. Final score, Los Scandalous votes victorious over the Cracks and Skull Jugulars, 41-14. to Final game stats is this 32-ounce tin of water I'm currently drinking out of, because holy crap, I'm going to need it for the next game. We will see you then. Until then, stay tuned.